Hello there, this is JBJ Blaze! And welcome back to a new Blazey log. This is number 49 on January the... What... What day is it? The 23rd, 2015. And happy, pretty late enough, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That was actually on Monday, but I've been having trouble getting this last of the 40s blazy log this will be the last of the 40s for 2015 which they really hardly even got into this year but next up is number 50 which means the road to blazy log number 50 finally ends. yeah if only you could see my facial expression but you won't but anyway, I mean, Martin Luther King Jr., he really changed the nation for j just the best. And I, I had tried to make the comparison between him and Nelson Mandela. And I mean, yeah, you can make the comparison, but you can't really make it in the way that he's a South African... I mean, not South African, uh, Amer... Ah, oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Uh, that he, you, you can't really call him an American Nelson Mandela because Nelson Mandela pursued changing his nation in South Africa years upon years later after Martin Luther King Jr. changed the US forever. And I mean, they were both great people and God bless you too. And other sort of blessed things, I mean, last weekend for me was just awesome. On Sunday, we got to go check out this toy show over at our convention center. And this guy had just the biggest display of NES systems that I've ever seen in my life. He had about 13 of them, including one of them, which was connected to his TV. And one of the kids was having just a good time on some Super Mario Brothers. Just very awesome to... Oh, that's where that other piece of coal was. And even more coal! But it's awesome to see the history of the video game world, or at least the Nintendo side of things. Then again, he did have Xbox and PlayStation games there too, but just an awesome collection. Most of them were tractor collect collections or uh, pop culture. Here, I'll put a torch in here, otherwise it's gonna look like crap. But yeah, it was a great day, and turns out there's gonna be a local expo coming to our place. Uh, I, I don't know if I should say what it is, because I try really hard not to give out my city of residence, because, well, it's because the last name I come from is rare, and thus it's pretty easy to find out where I live, and yeah, I like to keep that private. But, and other awesome things that went on, because last Saturday, with Saturday tomorrow coming up, which we have a black powder shoot a bank quit bank quit <laughs> that was the worst mispronunciation that i've had today i think and uh so that's gonna be a lot of fun but last saturday i finally got my copy of cobalt so i finished my uh mojang library oh yeah i did have some gold ingots in there so I'll put that away. Oh, and please do notice that I'm I'm still getting pretty good frames. I was gonna try it with fast graphics, but I'm gonna try to keep it so that lazy logs don't ever touch fast graphics, cause they are ugly, ugly. And uh, oh, yeah, and then today we uh, I had my law exam, which I think I did pretty well on it actually. Monday's my computer science exam. Which, speaking of that, I f ooh, I have plenty of gold to put some away, actually. And, uh, 
this program I've been working on for my computer science class. Yeah, I did try doing up a chandelier. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, I did show off how to make fences. So, actually, get those out of there. I want to... Wait, should I dig deeper or... I'll, I'll set this up just a little bit. I think I'll put you there, there, and there. There! That'll be the start for the fences, but I wanted to go mining a little more, so let's do that! And other things that have gone on... Oh yeah, and on Sunday, I got myself the Saints Row franchise pack, and I cannot wait to play those games. Apparently my computer may have a bit of trouble running the third and fourth Saints Row games. But, at least since Row 2 shouldn't uh, apparently be much of a problem. And, uh... Oh, and speaking of which, that reminds me, I'm also hoping to find... <gasps> Holy crap! Okay, that's where you are. Uh, eh, you're way down there anyway, so I think I'm quite safe. Maybe get some... Oh, wrong tool. Let's get some stairs going here. But I'm hoping to get a new... Ah, sh I think I will just have a quick look. Please don't touch me, don't touch me. But I'm really hoping to get a new quad-core processor for my computer. And I think, if anything, that piece of cobblestone is gone and gone because of that lava pit there but that way I can have better performance overall on my computer because so far I just have the pavilion p6 p62125 desktop stock CPU so I'm hoping to get an upgrade there but it's gonna be a bit over a hundred bucks or so so hopefully I can get that done and maybe even and actually I did check on it specs uh, today or so, Smite. I am going to call this, at least hopefully, maybe tonight or, or, or maybe I'll make it tomorrow, the Day of Commitment. So, over these previous days, I felt a little down, well, if not maybe quite a bit down, because there's so much stuff gone on in the Smite community that I ended up missing out on because, well, the uh, World Championship stuff. I mean, I got, I got to see the stream, but I didn't get to get the digital ticket, unfortunately, but that's because it kept on extending the date, so I assumed I'd have enough time in. Yeah, I was wrong, but I've decided as of tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to commit much more of my time to being a better Smite fan. And I mean, yeah, it's probably not that big a deal to, I, I, I don't know. But a part of me feels like I want to dedicate more time to the game and it's really a part of the inspiration comes from Mr. Brand, Mr. Eric, Mr. Wes, Afro Monkey and the Vicarious for uh, doing their Smite podcast, and that that is where a lot of my inspiration to play the game has come from, because they love the game. So, I mean, I really want to get into it so much more. And I also missed out on the level 30 Ymir skin, so hopefully I can get so much more into it. And in terms of releases coming out, I've gotten episode 10 of where to turn release today. Well, yeah, tonight or so. And I'm hoping that I can get the first episode of The Village released, which is Mr. Brent Copeland's Patreon server, and that was just a terrible idea right there. But anyway, I'm gonna have to sign off soon. Oh, and that's the other problem. I discovered that Monday's log was gonna be an a second too long and I really wish I didn't decide on uh, redoing it but you know what I think it's all worth it in the end but this has been JBJ Blaze 
tuning out. And thank you all for checking me out again. And bye-bye!